I'm Nancy with Cooking with Nancy's channel. Uh, I'm in a hurry to eat and I have some leftover chicken as most of you do during the Chinese period, uh, Chinese New Year period. So, and also noodles, whatever is left over. Uh, what I've done is I've got some garlic and fried with some uh, vegetable oil and Spanish onions and some shelled stems and I put in two eggs inside here to fry like a then I'm going to just add in my chicken here, leftover chicken. Can't eat so much meat, you know. So, lots of leftover, as you all know, in the festival. I'm just going to tear up the meat into my pan. I'm a very practical person, you know. You don't waste, but make sure the food is uh, fresh food. Of course, my hands are clean. I think you're washing, you're smiling at what I'm doing. But who cares? You know, my hands are clean, and uh, I'm going to eat my food, which is a very safe food, rather than going to the shop. Oh, sorry, we can go. I'm not saying the shops are no good, but I'm just talking for myself. I like to cook my own food, and uh, it's so much cheaper for me. Or I can just throw in this whole chicken, make into a chicken soup. But there's so much meat, I think I better fry it in a noodle. For those who like bihun, you can do bihun the same way, okay? Because uh, bihun is dry, you can pre soak and use as much as you like. Whereas noodle, you can't keep, I can't keep this noodle for long. So all, all this can be thrown away or you can make into soup, but I wouldn't want to make it into a soup when the chicken is more than one day old, you know. You still can, not like not like two days old. Say you buy, you have a chicken for today, and tomorrow you can have all the bones and boil it up, and that would be uh, quite fresh uh, bones. See, all this meat, no fat, no chicken fat for me because this chicken fat will all store in your heart. Some people just love chicken fat, but you know it's not good for your heart. Okay? Anything that's fatty is not good. So just fry the chicken, make sure it's well fried. I'm gonna Increase the heat. But first, let me wash my hand. And all this, all this is rubbish. All this is rubbish. Don't eat chicken wings. Those who love chicken wings, it's terrible. Throw it away. Chicken wing is a no no for me. Because a lot of the sorry, I shouldn't be talking here. Just washing my hands. So I just increase the heat. You can season up with your soya sauce, fish sauce at the end if you want to use fish sauce. Just increase on a high heat whenever you're cooking chicken. In fact, this half a chicken is actually too much for this noodle. But that's okay. Have, so you have a good protein intake plus eggs too. For those who are vegetarian and can eat eggs, you can omit the chicken at this stage. Alright? I'm using leftovers. Fry this well, then add in the noodles. These are yellow noodles. I like to keep noodles a wash because I will remove the oil because these noodles are pre-fried. They have a, they have used oil to keep them keep 
them, um, separate them, you know? So I forgot to wash, and uh, I normally do wash it. Yeah, just in a hurry in the cooking. Now, after you wash the noodles, just throw it in. So I'm, I'm not eating the fat that is in the packaging because uh, it, it stays in the packaging, I don't know, to the new by date. So this way it's better. Um, I put this in. I can sprinkle some soup. If you have more soup, just water will do. Just to give it some steam to speed it up. You put it bit by bit, okay? If you cook too much, then it takes a longer time to cook. You can put in bit by bit just to give it the moisture in your noodle. Because this is a stir fry noodle. It's not a uh, soup. Mm, for those who like it spicy, we can add a chili. We can add chili, uh, sliced chili, or bottled chili at this stage, or even pepper if we don't have chili. I have used some cold. Um, cold press ginger when I fry in with the on onions just now. So this is it. After using, I put it back in the fridge and I try and grab see what I have. Mm. Yeah. I have ready always in my fridge some chili. A bottle of chili. See? Some bottle of chili. I'm frying on high heat all the time. Restaurant, the heat is higher than this, you know. So very fast cooking. Otherwise, you wait till the cow come home, and it's still not done. Okay, I'm gonna put in my chili now. One teaspoon full. Two teaspoon of the uh, crushed ground chili. That should be enough for me. And uh, yeah, wait for it to cook. And I put in my vegetables. My vegetables would be kale. Earlier on, I've shown you in one of my video this this uh, vegetable called kale. Or Chinese, we call it kai lan, but we pronounce it as gai lan, English way of calling. It. Chinese call it Kai Lan, K A I L A N. If you go to a veggie shop in Australia, it's called G A I. And in the cookery books, too, it's Gai Lan, it's the same veggie, okay? So, fry this. Fry this well. Scatter the chili. I need a bit more liquid. Oh, I wish the heat is faster. Looking good. Now 
I can add my soy sauce to taste. It will be a good two tablespoon. Make sure your noodle is really hot. And you can taste to see you need other seasoning or not. Okay, taste a little bit, not eat, taste. Yum. Perfect. Very nice. Wow. I feel like eating now. But I want to make it um, dark. Like in Malaysia they call it um they call it um Hokkien Mi. Hokkien. It's a dialect, my mother is a Hokkien. Now you put your black thick caramel sauce into the noodle and that's why it's called Hokkien Mi. Singapore, they leave it this color. You know, pale yellow. Singapore noodle. And when you make it black like this, this is actually Hokkien noodle. And you can put in your prawns, you can put your calamari. Oh, fantastic. And uh, chicken gizzard. That's very traditional. Now I just cook the stand so this is tender. And this is actually ready. Very tasty noodle. Anyone can do it. If you follow my recipe, there's no secret. Everything is what you see. Okay? Uh, you can put mushroom powder or whatever powder that is tasty, like, like a extra flavor. So that's very looking very good. It's already actually cooked, but I want the stem to be more tender. The leaves cook very fast, so I'm not worried about I'm not gonna put it in just yet. It's just the stem. The hot stem. Okay, looks good. So what I do, wash your vegetable very well. It's not funny, vegetables. You know? Insecticide, preservative. Right. Just Tear them in. This is good exercise for my fingers. I never go to the gym. You notice in all my pictures and my photographs, um, I seem to have muscles. All the muscles come from this hard cooking, hard work, stirring the wok. You know? I never go to the gym or lift up any weights, but I have muscles, and uh, <laughs> so work is good for you, you know, work is really good, and kitchen is also a work, so please appreciate your wife, don't think that, oh, they're just housewife, they're actually doing a lot of hard work. Okay, now last of all, last of all, I add in my shallots, or my, yeah, I'm not good to really better in the cut, because they're very super soft. Voila, it is ready. You see, half a chicken gone in here, and I thought it was so much meat, but they all disappear in the noodle. I'm Nancy from Cooking with Nancy's channel. Please subscribe, and you'll see more interesting recipe as I cook. And uh, please share with your friends. Don't say they can't cook. Just share. Thank you so much. Bye.